On Sunday and Tuesday, the Portland Symphony Orchestra is presenting two special shows. The performances will feature works of three living composers, all of whom are natives of Mexico. Eckert Proy is the conductor and musical director of the Portland Symphony Orchestra. He's here with Enrico Chapella, one of the composers whose work will be presented. And Eckert, I've got to know, is it more nerve-wracking to conduct knowing the composer is going to be sitting in the audience? <laughs> Well, there's always a lot of tension when you're on stage. That's, that's actually what I, what I like. There's no better feeling than having 90 people in front of you, maybe 2,000 in the back, and this wall of sound coming towards you. Um, of course, it's thrilling to have the composer in the audience, and hopefully um, the, the composer will approve of what we are doing on stage. Yeah, so. absolutely. And what led you to choose the choose to perform the music from these three composers? Well, so um, we wanted to diversify rep repertoire. Um, and um, when we were thinking about a CD, what do we put on the CD? And I thought, you know, Mexico is our neighbors and we rarely play Mexican composers. So what can we do as an American orchestra to promote that kind of music? Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I, I chose the three composers that I liked most. Enrico, I want to read from the press release promoting <laughs> these two performances because I've never seen anything like this before in a Portland Symphony Orchestra press release. It says, the concerts open with Enrico Chapela's lively and suspenseful rotor, a reflection on his early days as a musician playing in a death metal band. <laughs> Tell us about your days playing in a death metal band. Well, first, it was a thrash metal band. Okay. No, not death metal. <laughs> it, it was one kind of very uh, intense metal. No, I kind of early days Metallica, that kind mm. of stuff, and uh, it was the way I started with music. And I played the guitar, so the first rhythm, the first part of music you are going to hear, I played it in my guitar. This is an homage to my my band that was called like this, Rotor. How so did you go from that kind of music, thrash metal, to performing compositions that are played by classical symphony orchestras? Well, when I started composing. I, I listen to things like the, the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky and I thought that this is the same kind of stuff I do with metal but, but more colors. So that's why I'm doing this because it's, you can have the same energy but with a lot of more colors in it. Yeah. Eckert, how would you describe Enrico's music? So Enrico's music is thrilling. Uh, it is very rhythmical. It's all based on based on based on rhythm, and and you can feel how he is um, converting like this metal metal music into the orchestra. And it's, it's it sounds weird, but it's very 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 thrilling. And it's big sound, and it's always moving forward. And it's super fun to play and to conduct. Mm -hmm. These are two special performances because for the first time ever, the Portland Symphony Orchestra is going to be recording them for commercially released for a commercially released CD. You must be pretty fired up about this. It is, it is a wonderful thing because whenever we play, you know, this, as soon as the sound appears, it disappears. Uh, so for, for us to be able to preserve something and to also pres preserve this moment in time for the Portland Symphony and this high quality playing that the orchestra always delivers and to be the pride of Portland and to really preserve this for eternity, it's a huge privilege. Enrico, do you think that the symphony orchestra from here in Portland is going to bring the colors to your music that you want to come out? Yeah, absolutely, I, I'm sure about it because I, I was yesterday in the rehearsal. It was the first, first reading, usually the first rehearsals, they're only reading the music, but it sounded pretty close for the first rehearsal, it was amazing. So, and also Eckhart is a great c conductor and I made some arrangements for this performance knowing that this go was going to be recorded, so I, I said, okay, now it's time to uh, make this piece sound as best as I could. Mm -hmm. It's all so happening. That. Sunday and Tuesday, the Portland Symphony Orchestra performing at Merrill Auditorium. Thank you both for coming in. Great to have you here. We appreciate it. More information about the shows on our website and app, and stay with us. Back with more in a moment.